What is going on people and welcome back to our new model of creativity channel where we help clients ignite your brand, illuminate your vision and expand your business. Yeah. In this video, we will be discussing with you five tips in how to keep your creative thinking going. So there's no obstacles, no blocks. So stay with us. Five tips. Five ways of dealing with a creative block, yeah? What do I mean by this? Everybody goes through this, yeah? Whether you are an artist, whether you work at 95, or anything that you're doing that is involving creativity, yeah? We all go through the same trauma in terms of working and we're actually trying to, we come to a stifle point where, well, I can't think of any ideas anymore. Like, what should I do? I'm either tired or I'm feeling fatigued or I just can't be bothered. It happens to every single one of us, yeah? So, it is a common thing, and I'm going to share with you those tips and how to actually keep yourself sane if you want to create more content, keep the ideas going, and just have that motivation. Now, the first tip would be take a break. Yes, I said it. Take a break, relax, chill out. You could just be overworking yourself, whether you're an animator, because this happened to me when I was at university, yeah? I'll tell you a story about myself. I studied animation, 2D animation. For those that know, that involves a lot of hand-drawn, frame-by-frame work. Backgrounds as well, because I was also a concept artist too. So, there was a lot of frames, tons and tons of them, and there was times when I didn't even take a break. I didn't even sleep one day. I just constantly worked, and there's so many animators that I can relate to where I'm coming from as well. So, eventually, I was eating a lot of bad stuff, and I just felt ill, terminally ill. So, guys, please take a break. Even if it's just for five minutes, walk around. Just be cool, do you know what I mean? Like, do not underestimate the power of having that 30 second rest. Again, even trainers do tell you, if you're doing HIIT training, you work hard for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. And if you can't actually continue on for the next 10 sets, rest, yeah? Resting does restore power within you. So do make sure to take a break. That's tip number one. Tip number two, do something creative once a day. The reason why I say this is because, again, it goes back to tip one. We try to continuously work and work and work. But again, it's not, tip two is not really just about taking a break, but it's also to do with, okay, how can I structure my days into creating something new? So again, if you're a video editor or you're a music artist, you wanna try bang out 10 tracks in one night. But again, the fatigue will kick in. So maybe you wanna structure in a way, okay, cool. Maybe I can get this artist on, or maybe I can get a violinist or a pianist. Could be anything. But structure your days that you want to actually evolve your creative thinking, especially those that are trying to go through that transition. So again, as you guys already know, most of my clients are coming out of the nine to five or they're in the nine to five trying to build a business, right? It's very rare that I come across people that are in a creative full-time job. And if they are, they find it really difficult in implementing creative strategies in their business. So it's very, very important that you take the time and structure your days in advance. Okay, what content am I gonna create on this day? What am I gonna do on that day? next month and how am I going to release it so it's very important that's tip number two tip number three now surround yourself with creatives yes we all get disheartened at times even I do myself so the first thing that I do guys what's going on man we not doing tonight no I don't want to party no I'll come around your crib we're gonna bang out somewhere I just need some motivation you see that right there when you know people that are 100% down with you that are always up all night working to definitely go with those people because again they will always activate a next sort of spiritual side to you they're going to be like wow i can just bang this out i can work it no problem easy so very very key yeah keep surrounding yourselves with creatives that are actively looking to create new stuff so that's tip number three now for tip number four congratulate yourself yep give yourself a little pat on the back the reason why I say that is because 
So many of us artists and creatives in general, we love to beat ourselves up too much. We like to think that we can always do and progress better, which is nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm not taking that against anyone because again, I always want to improve. But at the same time, the fatigue does come into it when we start overthinking and just visualizing, you know what? This artist is better than me. I know I could do better. Like, look at my work. It's dead, it's crap. You can't say that. No, no, no. Cut that out, man. Like, the whole point of being the best is to appreciate how far you've come, okay? So again, maybe you need to look at your old artwork. Maybe you need to start looking at, you know, the comments. Start showing people, okay, what do you think of my new work compared to the old work? You know what people are going to say to you, unless you're doing something well. But look, congratulate yourself, man. Like, you've come very far, okay? So don't beat yourself up. But this is the last tip, number five share your art i will say this again please do share your art the reason why i say this is because there's so many artists out there that i know especially they're gifted as well like they will literally create so much badass excuse my french but so much great beautiful animations or graphic design logos websites you name it but they're very very much introvert they're very very introverted people and again nobody actually knows who they are I do find when you present yourself to the public about what you create, you actually become better within yourself. That way, on a long run, you'll be able to start gaining more confidence. And when you gain more confidence, you're able to start structuring your creative ideas. So this last tip does infuse the previous thought that I did mention. So it's very, very key. Do show your art, especially with people that you work with, or even just the public people that you don't know. At the end of the day, people need to know who you are. Yeah? So those are the five tips in how to deal with the creative block okay any more information or any more stuff that you need to know you can always subscribe to our youtube channel at new motive wc same thing for instagram facebook and linkedin yeah we are everywhere on social media and again i will be giving more free tips on our channel so do subscribe comment below give me some feedback give this a thumbs up and do share around yeah your feedback is much appreciated because we are looking to improve so this is Soul Gamma, founder and branding director of New Motive, World of Creativity.